All right then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel. And today we're sorting out what is probably the most requested part on the car, and that is the front grille. This thing has been stone chipped for ages and has just been getting worse and worse. And then ever since I put the Buddy Club bonnet on the car, it's just brought the whole front end of the car down because this carbon flows into carbon, but the carbon it's flowing into looks so bad compared to the carbon on the bonnet itself. We're gonna be taking the front grille off and getting that relacquered. And at the same time, I'm also gonna get the rear wing done because although the rear wing isn't actually too bad, it looks like the top coat has started to fail a little bit. It's gone quite cloudy. And also there is like a little bit of damage in the carbon, which you would have seen when I installed that. Hopefully that's all gonna get sorted as well. And also watch me magically change clothes into the next clip because I filmed this on another day. So I thought I'd at least show you the condition that the grill and the spoiler are in at this point in time so that once I get them back from Rob at Rob's Spray Services, you'll be able to see the massive transformation. Rob's actually going to pop by because he's so local to me. He's going to pop by, pick them up so the car doesn't have to move. So as you can see, the lacquer is coming away from the carbon, but it does look like the carbon itself isn't damaged, which is ideal for my situation. And you can also see up here as well, it's coming away from the badge section, it's starting to go here, it's gone here. It's just getting to the point now where it, just, it really does bring the car down especially how good this bonnet looks but let me show you the spoiler as well you can see all this fading here which is just in the top coat but there are some other little areas like got some scratches on here some scratches here and things that have just popped up since it's been installed i don't know whether those are stress cracks or whether they were there and it's just through sun damage those have popped up again i don't know but either way although it's not that bad because it's not that much more money to get it done at the same time i just thought now is the best time to do it And there we go, both the bits are off and yeah, ready for these to get picked up by Rob. So the next time I see these will be when they're done. And again, look how hilarious this car looks without a wing, just looks like it's bold or something at the back, it's really funny. But yes, that's how it's gonna live for the next couple of days. So I'll catch you guys in the future. And so guys, it's been a couple of days and I've got the bits back and it's crazy. Like, I mean, obviously the wing wasn't too bad, so that doesn't look super, super different. I will show you in a sec, but the front grill, I just cannot believe the difference that this has made. I think it's because this has been on my mind of something to do for like years and I just never got around to doing it. But to actually commit and get this piece back and looking super fresh, I mean, just look at how much better this looks. It's like a night and day difference. Huge shout out to Rob at Rob Spray Services for knocking this out of the park once again. And yeah, I'll leave his info down in the description box below if you wanna get anything done by him. So that is the front grill. I also have the front badge holder back. So he did take all the badges off and then has put them back on for me, so that's amazing. And then we've got the wing and this thing just looks super fresh. I think the biggest difference, especially for the front grille, was that the original lacquer clear coat on that was so thin, you could almost see the weave in it, or at least it, that's what had happened over the time I'd owned it anyway. So now just having a few layers just gives it this extra layer of depth that it just didn't have before. And the same can be said for this wing as well. It looks so much better. I mean, look at that. Oh, it's just gonna be so good back on the car. That is the next plan. But before that, I've got a couple of little hacks I'm gonna show you. First off, we'll talk about the badge holder. So this thing, I think what is supposed to happen is you're supposed to glue it onto the side of here so you can basically choose whether you want to run this thing or not and obviously i just think it looks way better with it so they do offer this piece here so you could if you didn't want the badge holder move that badge into the middle and run it like that i've seen quite a few like that but the badge holder to me just brings the whole car together getting the red honda badge in the middle so that obviously goes in there but how do you mount that thing because i think what they expect you to do is i guess to stick it to the actual grill on the back side there i suppose but what we did originally was we basically wood glued in these planks of wood and put some wood screws in them and now I can loop some cable ties around that and to mount it in like this so I can just take this on and off as I please. I obviously never have but it just gives it a bit more flexibility. So that's one little hack that I would recommend doing if you do pick one of these up. The next thing is with mounting this thing. So I did find actually that when I mounted this Mugen spoiler that it did actually leak water into the boot. And that is interesting because my other one doesn't. And I think it's down to the way that this actually mounts to the car. So what I've actually done, so I've just got some old bike tire here and I've punched a hole in it using like a leather punch. I mean, this is what I used. So just squeeze it on there and it just punches a hole that is the same size as the thread. And I'm gonna see if this works because this could be a cool little hack that can go there like that. And hopefully that seals up the gap so water can't get in or out. Super cheap, easy way to do that. I've got eight here because there's eight fixings. I'm now gonna mount the badge to the grill with these cable ties. Then I guess we're ready to start putting stuff back on the car. So badge is mounted. As you can see, I haven't clipped these yet, but just need to trim those off and then we're good to go. So let's get this and the wing 
back on the car right now. Okay, this is the moment we've all been waiting for for years. Well, especially I have anyway. So let's install this thing back on. Even just dropping this in straight away is gonna show you the difference. I mean, even that looks crazy different. Mental. Actually, before I install, I'll show you how I'm actually mounting these red things because I get a load of questions asking about these and I have ordered some new ones. So let me show you that. So as you can see, these replace the plastic clips that are what mount the grill to the actual front of the car. And I get a load of questions asking how these actually mount because obviously there is nowhere for this to actually screw into. The answer are these things. These have basically got a thread inside and so as you tighten them up, they get squashed and then become the washer that holds it in from the back. So I'll leave a link to these down below if you want to pick a setup. I have just ordered a new set that I will install once they arrive because these are getting a bit tarnished and a bit tired. So a super cool piece and I think that's what sort of brings the front of the car together really with that little hit of red. So just need an Allen key. Let's get all of these things on. And there we go. But before I close the bonnet, let me do the rear wing as well. So at least we'll have the whole car back together. So give me just a sec and I'll do that. And boom, fast forward some time, the wing is installed. It was a bit of a mission to do with those rubber bits, but I think, well, I don't actually know at this point in time if it's actually gonna make a difference. So yeah, I haven't put the piece back in here yet. You might be able to just about see there's this piece of rubber in here that is on every single one. And I'll let you guys know, I suppose, we'll see how it is in the future to whether it does actually stop water coming in, but also just look at how much fresher this wing is now. It looks so good. Rob also managed to sort of do a bit of repair on the bit that was in the carbon just around here. Those sort of almost looked like carbon damage. He's managed to sort that out as well. So this thing looks super fresh and I'm definitely glad I got it all done at the same time because with that bonnet, it's gonna make a massive difference. Right, let's see what this thing looks like. There we go with the bonnet. Oh my God, I'm gonna close it. Oh my God, yes, that looks so sick. I can't believe it. Look how sick this is. I just I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it. This has been the vision for so long, ever since it's got the first ever stone chip on it. But then obviously that got so much worse. Oh my God, it just brings the whole front end back together again. I can't actually remember the last time the grill looked this good. I mean, apart from obviously when I put it on, but it has been on the car for so long. I don't even know when the first stone chip happened, but as you can see, it just completely transforms the front end of the car and makes it look so much better. Clearly the front bumper is miles off still. So that is gonna be one of the next jobs to do trying to figure that out but man does that look sick all right guys future ollie here and as i said earlier in the video these red fixings have arrived so i thought i would quickly show you the before and after of one of these next to the new ones because even seeing them like this there is a crazy difference so let me whip one of these off before actually swapping these all over and as you can see pretty major difference between the new and the old i think these have been on the car for like five years or something crazy like that so there's no wonder they look like this being battered with rain and stuff over the years but it's going to look so much better with the fresh red which then ties in with the rest of the red that's in the engine bay but you don't need to see me do this again so i will come back to you once i've swapped them all over and boom there we go and that's just another piece that i think just finishes off this front end now looking fresh red matching more with the red that's in the engine bay not that faded sort of pinky coral kind of color anymore so like i've already said multiple times in this video i will leave a link to these down below if you want to pick some of these up as well because i just think just adds a little bit of spice. I just think it needs it when this is all black and carbon. I think it's cooler. Have that little hit of red. Also, been a couple days and it has rained and it does look like my solution has worked. So that could be a good hack. But we'll see once we've had a few more days of heavy rain so I can actually fully find out. But yeah, I think this is a good solution. This could be an easy fix for you if you are having this problem as well. Right, let's go back to past Ollie. And there we go, guys. Finally, the Civic is coming together and starting to look in my head how I've always wanted it to. Just crazy how much of a difference just that front grille makes. But now that the rear wing is in great shape as well, it's just all coming together. I'm super happy. Now you guys can stop commenting down below, asking me when I'm gonna get it sorted and everything. It looks sick, it drives amazing. This car is really getting close to how I've always wanted it to be. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to comment down below what you think. Subscribe to the channel, like this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey!